Hello. Um, trying to multitask here, so I apologize. Um, I'd like to read three scriptures before I um, start talking about what I'd like to discuss. Um, I want to start with John 14, 26. But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to you remembrance all that I said to you. That was John 14, 26. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 13. Which things we also speak, not in the words taught by human wisdom, but in those taught by the Spirit, combining spiritual thoughts with spiritual words. And lastly, Ephesians chapter 1, verse 17, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give to you a spirit of wisdom and of revelation in the knowledge of him. In the knowledge of him, meaning that the Holy Spirit helps you understand the words, the scriptures in the Bible. So I'm going to try to make this really, really quick because the last video was super long and I, I apologize. I got carried away <laughs> telling my story. Um, so I see too many people using YouTube as a crutch. And I understand YouTube is a great tool um, for if you want to know anything. Um, I was talking to another brother not too long ago in text. And I said to him that, you know, YouTube is a great tool. If you want to learn how to, you know, change the oil on your car or learn another language. Again, it's a very useful tool to have um, but what people don't understand is not everyone who uses YouTube knows what the heck they are saying and what the heck they're doing so they go on YouTube to take the the easy way um, um, instead of um, doing it the right way now when I was speaking to this brother I said to him, if you want to know about a person, do you ask their friends and family, their neighbor, their coworkers about that person um, to get a real sense of who they are? No, you don't go to others and ask others' opinions of that person to get an understanding of who that person really is. You go to that person and you talk to that person and you listen to that person firsthand firsthand you don't go to others and ask their opinion of someone so why would it be any different when you're trying to understand the lord jesus christ you go directly to the lord jesus christ you go to his word the living word the bible and read it for yourself and i Watching people and listening to them, I know that they've they 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 don't read the Bible. They they just they do not read the Bible. Even those that call themselves pastors, it's like if they actually picked up a Bible, which by the way, most of the time I've never seen them pick up a Bible, they just go on YouTube in front of a camera and tell you their opinions the whole time. Five or six times a day. It's like um, I'm not watching people as a watchman um, for their opinion. Um, I, I, I watch others walk their walk with Christ um, and I don't follow how they walk with Christ. I watch them and I learn. You, I learn from watching others. Unfortunately, most of the time I learn what not to do when I watch others. Um, and I don't mean that as a dig and I don't mean that to be mean or anything, but it's like when I see others get spastic and get emotional and start personally attacking people, I'm like, that's not his Holy Spirit. That, 
that doesn't count. That's not somebody who follows the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, <laughs> so any event, um, this is just a video to say, don't use YouTube as a crutch. Don't follow others. As a watchman, we are supposed to witness the things that are around us. Um, as our, probably our end testimony that this is our story. Um, we are each chapters in the book of life that our life tells our testimony, our story of our journey. And I'm not sure if it's to, to help others. I don't really know, but as a watchman, I'm watching the mess. It's like, here's the thing. When you are, um, searching for truth online. Okay. Um, it's like me going to, uh, a waste station or dump and there's a heap of garbage in front of me. And that garbage is lies. Okay. There's a bunch of lies in front of me. So it's up to me um, to put my discernment gloves on, my sanitary gloves, and sift through that garbage, which again, I'm not calling people garbage, I'm calling lies garbage, to sift through that garbage to, to seek out truth. And the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit which guides me, tells me whether something or not is truth. And those of you who actually do have his Holy Spirit know exactly what I'm talking about. When somebody's speaking something, even if it's like 90% truth, and then there's something they say, you're like, what? No, that doesn't sound right. Mm -mm. Something doesn't feel right here. And you feel it and you know it. Um, those who don't have his Holy Spirit, obviously you're not going to know what I'm talking about, but... 99.9999% of the time when you go on YouTube, it's going to be garbage. It's all lies. Even the truther channels, it's like, again, if they're giving 90% truth and then all of a sudden slip that in about aliens or, or slip something in about, you know, something that contradicts the Bible, um, you're like, Wow, I was just listening to this person for how long and now this video is revealing their fruits of, of, of who they actually are. So it changes the whole paradigm. It's like that person no longer speaks truth. They were speaking truth up to a point and then pff, it was like, uh, yeah, um, now I know they teach a false doctrine or now I know they're saying that you know, they believe in aliens when we know that they're demons, you know, they're not aliens or so on and so forth. But you get what I'm saying that it's all garbage. You have to really sift through the lies to, to find truth. If this is a way that you are, um, watching or witnessing, um, you're only going to get truth from, from the Holy Spirit. You're only going to get truth from the Lord Jesus Christ himself. Isaiah 2.22, trust in no man. Um, use discernment. Um, do not lean on your own understanding. Um, the, the Lord God's ways are not our ways. So if you're trying to figure things out on your own, it's not going to work out. Um, you will figure it out and know truth when he wants you to know truth. So anyways, nine minutes. That's, that's a, um, uh, a record maybe. <laughs> so I'm going to leave it at that. I hope this made sense. Don't use YouTube as a crutch. Um, that's just something that I really, really want to stress. Don't use it as a crutch. Don't, don't ask for other people's opinions. Okay. This isn't about opinions because opinions are lies. Because if we've all been indoctrinated, every single one of us, um, the only truth is letting all that go and listening to the Holy Spirit and reading the Bible and getting close to Lord Jesus Christ and only listening to him and only following him. Everything else is garbage. Antichrist.
Jesus Christ. Follow Jesus Christ. So have a good night. I love you and God bless.